All right, here's the update. There's the turbine installed on the roof line from the house. It's about 25 foot off the ground. Um, total, considering uh, I've got two stories. There's, we ain't gonna win today, so. There's how it spins there. Hopefully I can shoot a video when we get more wind. Of course I got four gauge coming right off of it here. I've got my pole grounded down below. Here's my four gauge ground. And then here's my power wire going straight through the top here. All the way down through the pole. And that goes straight down the battery bank. So there's that. That's going to be the Raptor Blaze from Missouri Wind and Solar. And also their PMA, their, their Super Patriots. And then here, I'm going to walk across here and explain what we have going on now. That's a good day to do it. Okay, these two right here are 24 volt panels, the mono panels. These are going to the 24 volt bank down below for the grid ties. And then all these panels here are all feeding into the breaker box down there to uh, fill up all the batteries we have. Oh, like 50 to 70 of them. Uh, I got total, but like right now it's only charging, I think, like 20 some batteries at this moment. I said I still gotta add the other ones in. I gotta build a table for that. So, and they're still on their little stands right now because, you know, like I said, if I could get this south right here, uh, that'd be great if I had a roof nose facing that way like my neighbors. That'd be awesome, but I don't have that luxury right now. I had to redo my whole house to get a roof like that. So, now, I bought a couple more since I showed y'all last time. Um, Picked these up on eBay from a guy. I bought some from the guy I normally buy my 40 watt panels from. $75 a panel. Couldn't pass it up. Each one of them panels, 75 bucks for 40 watts. So, price is getting down there, people. And then here's more ones I paid about an average of 100 a piece for. So, and then, of course, this is my 65. I paid 100 some bucks for this one from the same seller on eBay, the UL Solar gentleman on there. He's raised his price, so I stopped buying from him. Because we're trying to keep, you know, you got to keep the price down on solar, keep it cheap for everybody. But he decided to raise his price soon as summer came around. But all them panels over there are all made by them as well, UL Solar. But like I said, I got a couple of them for 75 bucks, some of them for 80 bucks before the price went up on them. The most I paid for one of these was $111. But still, you can't, you can't complain too much on a 40 watt. Uh, panel that's actually a true uh, true wattage and everything, considering that Harbor Freight sells for $200 a 45 watt system, which I have a couple of, which are obviously these guys right here. So you do get what you pay for in solar, but if you're just starting out, and Harbor Freight panels are not a bad way to learn how everything works. You can get a little bit of power at them. I get one of point tracking system uh, charge controllers. I got to still get me one even to control them bad boys. But I just give you a better idea. So I still got to add another two rows of it. And actually, I'm gonna put some more on a different part of my house. I do have one spot to face the south, which I'm about to fill up with panels, which is this little area right here. But I can do. Well, I can stagger some down there. I just had to put like two at the bottom, three, then four, and then five across here. But, I mean, it still is not too unobstructed as it should be. I mean, you know, let's see what happens. But, there she is. And I said, there's a the turbine. I've got to add another turbine right here. And I'm going to put another one right here. And thinking about blowing ahead and put a turbine right here, going straight up in there as well. And mind you, I'm looking at all these turbines and they're like uh, 20, 10, 20 foot up higher. I can be right about there. So that way they always are spinning. Right now it's a very, very, very calm day. So, and excuse me if I'm hyper today. I've had a lot of sugar. So, <laughs> but that's about it, people. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a holler and, uh, probably explain what works, doesn't work, or anything like that, because now I've got it pretty much all figured out since, you know, it's all 12 volts, and uh, I do this stuff for a living on cars already, so I just use all that knowledge, and it pretty much works. So, there's my update. Talk to you all later.